Hey YouTube, um, this is Crystal with Blessings at Home. Um, it's been a day or so since we've checked in. Um, it's kind of been a crazy 48 hours for us. Um, yesterday we, I keep saying, um, I'm sorry. Yesterday we were in the emergency room and a pediatrician's office um, and an orthopedic surgeon. The day before we were in emergency room at physical therapy, occupational therapy, and then today our child that is um, autistic spectrum had a torrential meltdown, um, couldn't touch them, couldn't talk to them. Uh, it, it, it's been a day. Uh, so we, uh, about one o'clock today, I said, mama's done. We had spelling left to do still. Um, my kids um, had co-op homework left to do, and I just needed a break. Uh, I, everyone had uh, everyone had lunch in front of the television. Uh, when I went up to get prescriptions um, for my kiddos that needed them, I went to Redbox, and they totally sat in front of the TV today and had lunch so that I could sit and have lunch uninterrupted. Um, no judgment, right? Um, surely you've all been there. Uh, I think that uh, we we are in the out, we're out of the honeymoon phase of school. Um, everyone's getting tired of it. We're looking forward to fall break. They were past all the review stuff. We're getting into the oh, I actually have to learn something new phase. Which I don't know about your kids, but um, I have a couple that they just want to open the book. They want to know what to do. They want to get it done so they can get outside and play. Um, so about our emergency room visit, um, in our video on Tuesday with our Nerf War fight, when I left the room and went upstairs to get everything ready for our group, um, our group um, lessons, um, it got a little rambunctious and our oldest, uh, one of our kiddos tried to get Nerf guns out of somebody's pocket and he was trying to get them out of her hand and twisted her arm back and she felt a pop and then immediate pain um so we iced it and couldn't can't really it was all on her shoulder can't really elevate his shoulder but i iced it and i gave her ibuprofen and her whole arm just got more swollen and her fingers were starting to get tingly probably from the swelling um so anyway so we took her in and got an x-ray uh x-ray tech said that she saw a possible fracture on her collarbone kind of like right in here um, and that more than likely when he yanked, like it did dislocate her shoulder, but you know, muscle pulled it out of place and then put it right back in. She was in a lot of pain. Uh, so she is in a now in an arm sling. Um, she's right handed. It's her right arm. Uh, yay. Uh, and her brother gets to do all of her chores for her and she has to dictate her schoolwork to him. Um, so that's been a little trying for me and, you know, just teachable moments, you know, have grace and patience with each other because they both were fighting and they both got themselves into this mess. So, and then, uh, yesterday, um, our youngest, Matthew, one of our twins, um, he just was not himself. He had gotten a bump on the head the day before. I promise I'll watch my kids guys, but he got hit, whacked in the head with a wooden sword um, he'd had a headache before that, but, um, his, his eyes, like it hurt, like he said it hurt like behind his eyes when he would look around, he was complaining of like a stiff neck and, um, just really lethargic looking. Uh, he had chills and shivers, but no fever, um, that I know of. Of course I was giving him Tylenol for the headache, so that might've affected it. Anyway, we, so I ended up taking him to the doctor and um doctor said um looked up his nose said oh he's congested and gave us a prescription for Domitap and said to take it every four hours as needed for cough and i was like he doesn't have a cough he has a headache um this was not our regular pediatrician so i, I had to go I, we had an uh, appointment with our orthopedic surgeon for hannah soldier shoulder um so it was a crazy day. I, I did end up taking him back to the immediate care um, later that evening because something just wasn't right. Um, and they were talking about doing a spinal tap to test him for meningitis, um, but they did a rapid stress test first and that came back positive. And he was very dehydrated, um, but we were able to um, skip the IV and they just gave him some Powerade that helped. Um, 
so that's been our week medical drama and um, today we've dealt with um, autistic drama um, just just frustrations so um, we did get a little bit of logging done today when we were doing our uh, science lesson our kids are doing um, apologia um, exploring for the my my youngest four everyone except for my ninth grader um, they're doing Apologia, Exploring Creation with Physics and Chemistry. And that is a class that they're doing with our co-op. My older, my two girls are doing that with co-op. Um, so we had some homework to catch up on so that they didn't show up uh, Monday with none of their schoolwork done. Um, so we did that and we did a little bit science, science, a bit of a science experiment that was actually due, we were I was supposed to do it with them last week, but I could not find pop rocks anywhere so if you ever need pop rocks for a science experiment and you have a dollar tree um they are at the dollar tree but they are not in the checkout or not in the candy aisle where everything else is they're at the checkout lane so fyi those of you that um, have science experiments to do so all right uh we're at the point where i'm rambling and going on and on um so coming up next is some of our science lesson and a clip of our science experiment and I hope that everyone had a great week and um, stay tuned for virtual homeschool co-op assignment three coming up in a couple days and I'll see you later. Have a great weekend guys. Bye. Matthew, can you explain what we read about ah, today? My God, We broke down our atoms. What's inside an atom? Um. Uh, Benjamin, what um, are the three parts inside an atom? It is. Tell me as many as you can remember. Too much for getting all of them. Can you remember? Um. Can you tell me what kind of charges they have? One has plus. Okay, positive, and one has equal. Mm. Negative. Yeah, Anna, do you remember any of the three parts in the make of an atom? They all end with tons. Energon? No. But there's one like that. No, there's not. Yeah, huh? Wow. Yeah. Neutrons. Becca? Yeah. Do you remember? So we're going to sit and read the whole lesson over again then, because um, nobody remembers. Um, I know one, but I don't know the name of it. So you don't know one? Um, <clears throat> Crouton? Crouton. <laughs> Proton? Proton. Proton. And Neutron. And Electron. Yeah. Oh, wow. See, I was trying to say that one, and you said it wasn't one. You said energon or something. And now my S's are horrible. Now it's all right. It's hard to be so plus handed. Now we're writing all of this. What is all of that? Oh, oh. it's something from the Bible. We're writing. Um. We're writing out of Hebrews 11 through 3. Hebrews 11 verse 3. Verse 3. And what book are you writing it in? What's that? What's this that you're working science. on? Science. A science no. book. Hebrews. It says you're okay. Right. Are you boys done? Not yet. No. Hey, let's work. It's the bottom of the balloon. Down here so none of the pop rocks come out while I'm getting this on top. Hold it up in the air though. So Alright, are you ready? Let it rip! Alright, let them go in there. We're gonna have strawberry flavored Sprite. Cool! Is it blo it's blowing up the balloon. What happened? What filled the balloon? The gas. The gas. Now we get strawberry flavored Sprite. Well, that wasn't an explosion, was it? Mm. Now we're gonna have explosion! Let's see if we can blow the balloon up some more. Alright, stop, stop, stop. Here I go. There's... Oh, there's Sprite in it. <laughs> oh, the Sprite. Oh, I'm still drinking it. I'm still drinking it. Babe. 
Can you shake it up more? Oh, you get all the fizz out of it. Look at it! It's got a Now, once we take out, it goes. Ha, <laughs> yeah! We should make it do that. Yeah, shake it a little more. There, that's enough. You said a little bit. Okay, no, because if we if we don't if we do that it's gonna be flat. What's gonna be Can flat? I take it off now? No! It's gonna go.